Racism is the ignorant response to the unknown other, the threatening stranger. And I find it disturbing that 20 years into democracy, we are still living as strangers in this country. However, it is possible to bridge this difference through really getting to know each other across cultural, social and racial lines. On the other hand, there is still a pervasive presence of institutionalized racism. This is the real debilitating side of racism and leads to repression and exclusion of the vast majority of people. A bewuste prijsgave van hierdie werkelijkheid is die enigste manier vir ons om in gelijke menswaardigheid saam te leef. If you cut my skin, the blood that will come out will be red. If you cut the skin of an Indian person, his blood or her blood will be red. If you cut the skin of a white person, their blood will be red. That means that we are all the same, regardless of our skin colors. As the founding president of my country, Kaunda, would say, Tiende Pamozi. I'm deeply disturbed by the fact that in 2016, after the world has received so much contribution from people of different races, in terms of science and technology, in terms of philosophy, jurisprudence, and many more, we find that value is still ascribed to people by virtue of the color of their skin, the color of their eyes, and the texture of their hair. I believe that dignity is inherent in a person by virtue of the fact that they are human, and respect for this dignity is not a choice. The worst punishment or treatment which a human being can face is to be maltreated based on the color of his skill. Let us together bring down those barriers and make the world a better place. Black people are thieves, dictators, lazy, better dancers. White people are supremist, racist, smart, attractive. These are generalizations that limit people to the color of their skin. And these are prejudices and assumptions that we perpetuate in our homes, in our schools, in our communities, in our workplaces. But these generalizations don't describe who I am. They do not tell the story of who I am and what I can do and what I can achieve. And I know many people argue that you know, we cannot change what we have experienced. We cannot change what our communities believe or what we think. But I think you can change what you believe, what you think, and what you do every day. And so I think any change that we want to see in our community starts with you. Kubadilisha dunia lazima nianze na mimi.